It was the, the first emotion I felt like after I was like, I was so tired in the interviews. I had to get up. You saw I me get tell. up at one point. I couldn't like. You, you were like, I'm not my... feeling too good. I need some water. Yeah, I I, <laughs> I need to like, I felt dehydrated. My ears are still ringing and I was just like falling asleep. So that was like the biggest thing. That was like the first thing I felt. And I went um after we finished our interviews, I went back and I had a little bit of chili, which was amazing. Like Bomb. the best chili I've ever had have on an empty stomach with like nothing in my stomach, no water. Like the chili was so good. Um, <laughs> it was, I came, it was like a 10 out of 10. Where and, was it uh, from? Uh, it was, so the uh, people that helped my grandfather out, they do a lot of the, his cooking and stuff. So they made us chili and nice. uh, they, for him that for the next day. And um, so I got, I got some and I've never that been so grateful for chili in my entire life. Winter's chili, baby. It's, oh, so good. good. Better, so much better going to steak and shake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll say this: if I you can't end up break winning a tradition, a, I know. Well, if you end up winning a Daytona 500 one day, instead of going to steak and shake, you can take Denny and your grandpa and get some chili. We do, yeah. We go do, or we can get chili at steak and shake. They have it there too. It might be, a, it, might, it might be a win for a win. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not a steak and shake guy, but if they got chili, the more the merrier. That way, you can carry on That's, the team tradition oh, and get sure. what you want. Yeah, that works. It, it will work out.